All right, so I need to find out exactly where I want this 240 volt outlet to be for my welder. I picked a location here. On the outside of this wall is where my electrical box is located. I'm gonna come out the bottom of it over and into this cavity. And I believe what I wanna to try to do is mount my box over here off of this stud. So right here is where I wanna make my hole. I'm just gonna use the tip to kinda of drill a hole to start with. So I'm gonna set my box up here with a level on top and then I'll draw the exterior shape of the box. Then I know where to cut. So now I'll just test fit the box in there. See, I've got no obstructions. So I should be able to drill a hole from the outside for my LB connector for the wires to come through the exterior wall, which is stucco. So I'll be coming out of the bottom of the box over and up and I'll mount the LB right in this location. Now, just to caution you, in order to do this, you're gonna have to get behind your panel in the box and I'm not a professional, so do this at your own risk. If you're not comfortable with that, certainly uh, <laughs> hire a professional to take care of this for you. Now, this is a 200 amp service box, 120 on one side, 120 on the other side. So touching those would be a, a very bad mistake and you need to keep that in mind. So I can turn off this top breaker to kill the power within the house, which I will probably do before I start working on this section down here. Just keep that in mind and do this at your own risk. Be aware that it could be pretty dangerous and it could actually kill you if you make the wrong mistake. Now looking at the bottom, these look like knockouts, but they're not perforated or anything. They're just an area where you could drill that out. So I'm gonna drill one of these out using the step bit. So it turns out those are actual knockouts. When I was drilling through it, it, it peeled out of there just like a knockout. I just couldn't tell because there's so much paint in this box and the outside's been repainted. So, But we'll put the adapter down in here. And this is where my number six gauge wires will come through for this 50 amp, 240 volt welding outlet. And then this way I can take measurements with my PVC on the outside. This is three quarter inch pipe. I bought two elbows. I've got an adapter here that will go into the box with some included three quarter inch nuts. And I'll list all of this in the description if you have a project like this that you want to try for yourself. But just a reminder, I'm not an electrician. So use this information for ideas and don't uh, rely on it 100%. I picked up a five foot piece of three quarter inch schedule 40 because I didn't need a full 10 foot length. And some of these joints, I'll show you this a little bit later in detail when I get to putting this together are not gonna be 100% probably the way it should be done simply because I wanted to go with simplicity and it's a very short run. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem pulling wires through. And then of course I have an LB PVC. So this will be glued to one end and go into the wall. This will come out of the box and have this connector on the other end so it can screw into the hole in the bottom of the box. And then a piece of pipe in between here. So. Next, I need to get out there and start putting this together so I can determine exactly where I need to drill the hole from the outside to mount the LB. That's what we'll do next. So the wires will come out here and then this will mount right in this location. Now this piece coming across here is going to have about a oh, 10, 20 degree angle bend on it. So it'll come past this incoming pipe bend and push this up against the wall. Bends just about right where I wanted it. Mark where I want to drill this hole. I'm just going to use a hole saw. I don't have a masonry hole saw or specific for that. I've got one that's good for all materials. And it's old and wore out anyway, so if it ruins it drilling through this stucco, then that's not a big deal. Looking through where I'm going to put the box, I can see the hole for the LB where the wires will come through the exterior wall and that'll work out just fine. 
Here's some of the other electrical components I bought for this project. Of course I have the 4 inch box which is the deep box. I bought a half inch raised plate for the face and that'll give me a little bit deeper box when it's assembled. I've got a 50 amp 250 volt outlet. Three prongs so two hots and a ground. Stainless steel face plate. Clamp type connector. This is three quarter inch. This is what will hold the uh, wire into the box. Three quarter inch conduit clamps. Five was the smallest pack I could get. I probably need one. 50 amp double pole breaker. Square D model since my box accepts the square D breakers. And then I picked up seven feet of number six THHN wire. Got uh, two seven foot lengths of the black and one seven foot length of the green for the ground. Now the way I put this conduit together, if I feed it through from this end, this end's gonna probably get hung up right here in this corner. It really should be pushing it through from this direction. But since it's such a small run, I figured that it would be easy enough to get it past this spot. Put a little bend in it. But that's going to work. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of pull a bunch of extra through here. Then I'll just leave this loop hanging for the moment. All right, out here working in the sun. It is blazing hot this afternoon on this side of the house. But I want to get this in here so I can go inside and work. Get my lock ring on here. Now I'm going to have multiple knockouts out of this box because I used it for another job and plus I did two knockouts here. So I don't know if that's a code violation or not, but I have a feeling that you guys will let me know if it is. If it is a big deal, I'll have to go buy another box, switch this one out. If it's a safety issue, then I definitely will do that. Now I need to push it back a half inch and then secure it to the stud. Overall it looks pretty good so I want to go outside, pull all those wires through, pull the slack out, put the cap on the LB and then when it cools down in the morning when it's in the shade I'll wire in the breaker. And I'm just going to do a quick voltage test here. 246. And there's a lot of exposed bus bar there. So before I start snapping in circuit breakers and that sort of thing. So I'm going to shut off the main breaker up at the top here. And that's going to completely kill the power to all this. But we're down to 6 volts, 5 volts. And I'm going to put on a pair of gloves as well. And I have my rubber underwear on. So that should make it safe too. This is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to give you some ideas if you decide you want to try this for yourself. And also another reminder, I am not an electrician, so use this information at your own risk and do your own research before you do something like this. Don't base it solely on what I do in my video. So I'm going to get started. We're going to put in the uh, 50 amp breaker for this 240 volt 50 amp circuit. Incoming from my conduit, ran it up the side. Put a nice bend in it so it's all neat and tidy. It looks like the rest of it. All right, we'll get the panel back in now that I got it cut out and labeled. Let's turn the main power on. And then we'll turn on the 50 amp. And we'll go check the inside and see what we got. All right, let's test this out. Let's go to continuity first. So when there's continuity it beeps and I'm going to test the ground with the uh, with the box. So the box is grounded. One side of the outlet to the ground should see 120-ish. 122.1. Let's test the other side to the ground. 122.6. And then this should give us 240. 
and the box is grounded so we're good and the last thing I need to do and I'm not going to show it on video it's easy enough to understand is I'm going to go around this box with some uh, silicone sealant just to keep the moisture out of there if it get blowing rain and that sort of thing but this is a look of the finished product on the outside 